Right, welcome back to Friday Briefing. Thank you very much for staying with us. Let, let me bring in my guest anchor this evening, Mr. Shafi Where It's great to see you. Yeah. So what's it's your... great to see you. Yeah? I see you on TV every day. I know. You guys didn't even invite me for your I wedding. I listen to you all, time, you, all you the time. You didn't invite me for your wedding, and uh, your husband is a very good friend of mine. Like we're going to start the interview no, like no, that? No, <laughs> no, no, no. It's all good. In the whole, as in, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll invite you for dinner. I've not attended a wedding in like a gazillion years. How come your friends are not getting married? They get married, but I just like Linda. Linda Nyangwasi yeah, got married. Got married you didn't I, go for the I, wedding. I, I went for the evening party. Of course, it had yes. to be the evening party. I had to check in at the evening party, but uh, I don't do the whole walking down the aisle thing, man. Why? This is me. I'm the reverend, but I don't go to church. <laughs> okay. <Yes. laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah. okay, let's rewind back. Yeah. So. Your real name, Shafi, is that the, your yeah, real name? Yeah, Shafi Abdallaweru. Abdallaweru. Yes, I went to high school in um, Meru Sides, Chuka High School. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's where you got the, uh, the, the, the nickname? No, 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 no. The nickname I got it when I, uh, when I started doing my article on the star. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So one of the questions that uh, people have really tweeted when I said you're coming is yeah. um, there's a lot of interest surrounding your children. I don't okay. know why. No, I, I'm a man, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm a ladies' man, and uh, yeah, I'm fertile. Yeah, so if Kenyans want to know, I only have three kids. I have a boy called Tyrone Jabali. Uh -huh. I have Milan. She's right. 11 years old. In fact, uh, earlier in the morning, at about 4 a.m. Um, Kenya time, yeah, I had to wake up and dance with her because she's in mean? LA. She's in she's in she's in California with uh, her mother. Okay. Yeah, Debbie. Uh -huh. So I had to you know Skype and like you know dance with her for her father daughter. Oh, dance. lovely. Yeah. So what if kind you of a me father? On Snapchat, you can just see. I, I, yes. I, I saw something yeah. like that. And I have my mm -hmm. my last boy now, who's like my you know my heir, mm -hmm. my <laughs> read my everything. Her uh -huh. name is Nia. Uh -huh. She's just joined uh, play school. Uh -huh. Yeah, and those are the only kids I have out there, out unless there. the taxman says otherwise. All right. So what kind of a dad are you? Because uh, mm -hmm. you first of all you're this renowned party animal that's for sure. You call yeah. yourself the reverend. Yes. Um, but then you know people would wonder. So what kind of a father? Is he? Does he have time for his children? Mm -hmm. um, you know, what kind of uh, role model do you think you are, especially for your kids? Uh, for my kids, my kids are too young to for me to be their role model. Mm -hmm. I'm just a father to them. Mm -hmm. I provide for them, mm -hmm. and uh, every every time or every uh, second when I'm free, mm -hmm. when I don't have to go and make money, I'm always home. Yeah. Always home. Always home. Mm -hmm. And uh, note, I say it every time, every, time. every second mm -hmm. I get because, you know, uh, my kids go to like really expensive schools. I have a kid in L.A. So you can imagine if work calls, duty calls, mm -hmm. I'll be there. And uh, it's unfortunate that um, everything I do is surrounded with a lot of alcohol and how come? partying because mm -hmm. that's all I do. Um, that's, that's just my life. So uh, how do you make money I, from that? I MC, I consult for clubs. So I have to what check. What does cons consult I consult, for yeah, club? for clubs. Majority of the clubs out there, Galileo, uh, Skylax, name them, uh, 1824. Yes, they Educate call me. me. What does consulting for clubs I, um, mean? Clubs need customers. They need patrons. And uh, they call me up uh, when uh, they need to understand uh, or to get numbers in mm -hmm. their clubs. Mm -hmm. Yes. I hear you also. I don't know if it's true. Maybe you can confirm it that, you mm. know, you also get paid to go to certain clubs is that true or certain parties yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yes that's the thing it's it's it pa it's just part of the my life yeah mm -hmm. um if uh, you have an event you want me to pop in either as a host or just make an appearance yeah you have to f pay me because you get the parties going or what no, happens no 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 i'm 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 I'm, uh, I'm the life of the party that's why they call me the real town of king so i you know it's, I've, I've partied 48 hours uh, 40, 40, I've attended 48 parties in 48 hours for the last two years, mm -hmm. and I'm doing it again this year in March. So, yeah, I'm that guy. Party is my life. Okay. It's like my side hustle. All right, let's yeah. talk about the main hustle, which I, which I uh, suppose is the radio gig. Y yes. Tell, talk to us about it. Uh, at what point did you think uh, you were good enough to join radio? I never thought. Mm -hmm. I just happened to be like, you know, I finished high school. And then uh, I, wa I was supposed to go to like uni university. Uh, that was, uh, I was supposed to go to the States in Florida uh, to do mass communication. Uh, that was just after the 1998 bombing. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of confusion and everything. And then I fell in love with this Kamba chick who confused my ass. S sorry, oops. Who confused me. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Kenya. And uh, I, I, didn't, as in I, I didn't have the, 
I didn't have the urge uh-huh. to want to go to the States, uh-huh. though my mom was really pushing, being a firstborn right. of three. Uh, so even when I went to the embassy, I didn't put the effort. Oh, yeah, okay. So I didn't, so uh, didn't, I didn't get my, I, as in I didn't get the visa, so mm-hmm. I didn't get to go. Mm-hmm. So I, I stayed here, and then I joined. Yes, I uh, schooled with the majority of the people who I'm seeing on camera. Nico T, mm-hmm. bless. Okay. Yeah. So um, from there, I graduated, and then I got a job at Citizen. Sorry, competitors. Yeah, that no, was it's then. fine, it's fine. Yeah. At Citizen used to be at Ambank House. And then, remember, it was during a month's time. Mm-hmm. And then Citizen got shut down. Okay. We had all sorts of problems. I yes, used to work yes. with old people Definitely and young that. people because they're just poached guys from uh, uh, Broadcasting House, KBC. Uh, from Sophie Kenya, mm-hmm. Carl Redul, uh, Alex Chamwada, mm-hmm. name them, all mm-hmm. these guys, Emmanuel Juma. Yes, yes, yes. All these guys have just been poached into, uh, what do you call it, uh, citizen. Mm. And I was, in, I, was, I was not an intern, I was actually working mm-hmm. as a journalist. Mm-hmm. I was a sports journalist. I covered the, Safari, the last uh, WRC, uh, Safari Rally and everything. Mm-hmm. So I was learning on the job because I was surrounded by some of the, b- the best. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, so it was shut down. And I'd met the best. Okay. And the best went to shut down. I was still young, yeah. So I just went back to South Sea. That's my hood. And I just used to hang out. I used to go for. I was an extra in very many, you know, like advertising gigs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I bumped into Carl Redu okay. in one of the shoots for one of the alcohol uh, alcohol beverage. And she was like, "What are you doing here?" I told her, "I'm just chilling," you know. She was like, "What? Since we closed down two months, you've not done anything." I'm like, mm-hmm. "No." And she said, you come see me on Monday. All right. So I didn't make it on Monday. Why? So I went to see her on Tuesday. You had parted uh, with uh, previous nights? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It was uh-huh. crazy. So I went to see her and then everything just started. That's how I ended up at Kiss. Okay. That's back in uh, just a year after Kiss had just started. Okay. Yes. And that's where So she got me in as an intern and I just, I just rose t- through the ranks mm-hmm. from making tea for the big boys. Oh, really? Yes. You made tea? Yeah, I was bullied. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I made tea. I, not, not, not that I was a tea boy, but No, you know, of course you're like, not, but... Uh, when I was asked, I did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because did. I needed to fit in, in my baggy suits and everything. Mm-hmm. And Kiss was growing very fast. That's when the FM station was just like, you know, uh, getting uh, to where it is right now. Mm-hmm. And from there, I moved from um, being a, an intern in yes. the news department. Yeah. I joined uh, production. I became a sound engineer. Yes. And then from a sound engineer, I got a Saturday show right. called Keeping the Canyon. Uh, I did that for a couple of uh, years, like two years. And um, that's when Kaliche joined us from uh, Capital FM. Okay. She was also in the ne- She started as a newsreader. And um, she, we started hosting that show. Right. So one day there was a mass exodus of presenters yeah. from, the, from the radio, mm-hmm. uh, from the, the drive show. That was Angela Angweni and Albert Josiah's brother. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, actually his name is Albert Josiah, Albert, yeah. Ted Josiah's brother. Yeah. So he got poached. And then there you are. And there it was, we were just called into the boardroom yes, and told, yes. okay, what's up guys? Yeah, yeah. Are you guys ready for this? So um, you actually went through the ranks because... I went through the ranks. I just didn't just get one... I, just, I didn't wake up one day and uh, found myself where I am. How hard do you work for your show? Is uh, it just about talk? No. Or is, it, uh, is there research that no, goes No, we put in, we put in a lot of work, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, like uh, I had the biggest uh, drive show in the country for the last 10 years. Mm-hmm. Yes. As in Kiss Drive was the biggest show ever. And then now we got moved to the morning show, mm-hmm. which is hectic, which is crazier. Yeah. And uh, the show is uh, doing fairly well. I'm, st- I'm trying to get into it. I'm not a morning person. My alarm snoozes like for 12, 15 okay. times before I wake up. Before you wake up. But, you know, it's a hustle. It's and a it hustle. And it pays the bill. And, yeah. All right. So let's talk about your chemistry, your, your partnership yeah, with Yeah, with my Mungo. radio wife. With your, oh, you call her that? Yeah, she's my radio wife. How she, has she's it been? A, she's been single for the longest time, man. She's because telling, of she's you? She's turning 40 uh, soon. Are you supposed to yeah. say that? Yeah, and I know. Like, it's, she's it's all good. 40, you yeah, said? She's turning 40, yeah. She's proud of it, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, she's slightly older than me, like uh-huh. she's like six, six years older than me, but she's okay. very cool people mm-hmm. and uh, cool, calm, collected, independent woman. And, uh, you know, she's been in the game. Mm-hmm. She used to work with homeboys. She left yes, homeboys yes. and right. managed a DJ group called, uh, I can't remember the name, but she managed all the big yes, DJs. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, from DJ Cream, Della mm-hmm, Cream. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know him from his video. Definitely, I know yeah. him from way back. Oh, not the video. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, it's my of course, boy. Yeah. 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 But I mean, um, so the question would be, you know, there, there's a lot of uh, controversy, and especially with the topics sometimes we discuss on radio. Yeah. Um, do you ever feel like 
whatever you, the topics you handle, especially now that you're doing the morning show, and even when you're doing the drive time uh, show, yeah. do you feel like they are appropriate for, you know, the listeners, uh, you you know, know, I mean, families I'm, I'm that are in the car in the morning, driving to work, going to school? We get a lot of flack from um, CAK. We mm -hmm. get letters. We get uh, we we'll get reprimanded. That's why we try and like you know be like really polite and very really that's polite we try I you said try, we try. Mm -hmm. yeah but uh, one thing is for sure i'm in the entertainment uh, business i get paid to entertain and if my boss has not yet fired me or you know written me a warning letter mm -hmm. telling me to tone it down mm -hmm. we'll continue to, i'll continue doing what we do because that's what uh kiss is all about hashtag tmk the morning kiss okay yes and uh as parents out there as uh, you know guardians of uh, you know the little ones uh, don't let radio dictate or educate your children. That is your, that's your job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm an entertainer. I'm, I get paid to entertain mm -hmm. because if what I was doing was so wrong or was uh, so absurd or so bad, mm -hmm. I'm sure my paycheck or my job would have been terminated a long time ago. Right. But I'm still doing it. Now it's going 14, 15 years. Okay. So I still go. I, I, still, I, I go to work every day and I keep on doing what I do best. Right. Yeah. So you have a very huge. Um, as we go to for you to anchor the news for us. Wow. You have a very huge following, especially um, among young people. Yes. Is there anything that you're actively doing to uh, sort of like positively inspire them into, you know, going after their dreams? You know, are you, do you have a mentorship program? Are you looking to start one? Um, no, I, I, don't, I don't have a mentorship program because, you know, majority of Kenyans have already, they have this um, idea about me. They think I drink too much. Do you, you drink used, too much? I used much? to drink as much as Kenyans think I drink. I'd but you but you party too hard. No, I just party, man. I just party. As in, I'm I'm always at the parties. But you know what? I drink responsibly, and I know uh, perception is uh, is is the mother of all. So do you yes. feel like per perception has kind has of created, like has uh, created this thing this that you cannot? I cannot go change. Out. As in, I cannot change. I can I cannot change it. Yeah. So when Kenyans think I drink a lot, I just like yeah, cheers. Yeah. Because uh, there's one incident back in four four years ago. I was in Nakuru, and I really got really wasted. It cost me so much. That's the time I sat down and I realized, you know what? Yes, entertainment and partying is part of my life, but I cannot overdo it. In any case, too much of everything is poisonous. So mm -hmm. I do not overdrink, but I'm not here to like, you know, justify mm -hmm. why I party. Uh, but that's, that's what it is, because if I, if I was a junkie, if I was that guy who just drinks and drinks and drinks, do you think I'll be waking up every single day at 4 a.m. to go to work? So, but do you have any, in, any, anything that you can tell the young people yeah, who yeah, are I watching you right I now? I tell the young people just, you need to be go-getters. You need to live your life. You need to believe. Uh, you know, we're living in a crazy world, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, you see, like, I, I call myself Secretary General of Team Afisi. It's just, you it's know... It's a controversial title. It's a controversial title. I know some people will say uh, it's... Um, it's being petty, it's mm -hmm. mediocre, but you know what? It's part of my entertainment, it's part, about, it's part of, uh, of life. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to know how important I am, the Lions left the park today because <laughs> the Secretary General of Team Office was coming to <laughs> sit next to you today. So they're on Yeah. So <laughs> KW is just chill out, chill out. The Lions will get back. All yeah. right. So, so it's just part of life and I do what I do mm -hmm. and I'd ask every young person out there to do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself. Because, you know, uh, we're, living in a tough, we're living in tough times. Kenya is, uh, they say Nairobi in Shambaya Mau, you know, it's Kenya, it's the whole of Kenya. Mm -hmm. Nothing comes easy. Okay. Yes. All right. So and you ask me if I do any mentorship program. I don't do any mentorship prog but uh, programs. But I do a lot of charity. I, I do a lot of charity. Mm -hmm. I'm Muslim, so, yeah. So it's part of my, my religion uh, to be able to give back. But and uh, I do that a lot.